Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna uh, jump out here this morning and hit these deck plates. I'll flip you around here so you can uh, check them out. I've got the uh, Total Fair Epoxy, uh, the fairing compound. It is uh, cured rock solid. It's been two days uh, since I laid this stuff down. I wanted to let it really sit and cure. Um, it is rock solid and ready to be sanded. So I'm gonna hit it with uh, the 80 grit paper first and then come back in and then hit it with a uh, 220 just to really smooth it out. All right, so that's pretty much the plan for this morning. Knock this out. Same thing for these three uh, sections right here of the deck plates. These look pretty good. They should uh, sand out really nice. And then I'm gonna start working on the uh, console there. Well, that piece turned out pretty good. Um, if I if this wasn't a deck plate, I would probably go over it one more time in a few spots with a total fair. But since this is a deck plate and it's going to get the uh, tough coat, which is like a, um, a non skid like texture, it it will fill in any of the imperfections. So it's really close. But again, if it wasn't the deck plate, I would go over it one more time. I'll flip it around here so you can kind of see. So there's like kind of a little low spot there. A uh, little little low spot right there, but all this is it's really smooth, but it's going to get filled in. Some of these like little pinholes right here. If this was just going to get primer and paint, I would definitely um, you know put some more total fair on this. But since it's a deck plate, I'll just prime this. The, the primer will fill that in, and then the uh, tough coat, which is a non skid, will actually fill everything else in. So there's no sense in doing more work on it when it's just going to get walked on anyway. So, but again, if it was the side of the boat. Like that, on that side right there, I would definitely uh, do another coat on it. But for the deck plate, I think it'll serve me well. Looks pretty good. Really smooth. All the way around. All right, so now I'm just going to jump over here and do these three. Turned out pretty good. And they look pretty good. Real pretty lines, real transitions. Transitions really smooth from um, each deck plate over to the center deck plate. Just gotta prime it now and uh, paint it. This is the uh, coffin box lid. Turned out really well too. Looks good. Uh, she's coming together one piece at a time. All right, so I've got the uh, console window sill here. I'm, I'm building it up on the inside and um, epoxy I'm gonna glass in some Kuza board to mount that side window on both sides where it screws in um, I'm actually going to fiberglass this in and through bolt it all the way through with little nuts on the back side so that way it doesn't uh, rattle and loosen up. The front already has a lip in it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use this lip and bolt it all the way through and seal it up with silicone. But this one didn't have a lip and before it was just um, silicone all the way around. Well now I'm going to have a lip to bolt it to and then seal it in. All right, guys, well, the next thing I'm gonna do is um, sand down what I fared in. I've done a lot of work uh, since the last time I filmed. 
So I've got everything uh, fared in that needed to get fared in. Uh, for the most part, most of the deck didn't really need any, a whole lot of fairing, but I just focused on where the seam lines come together. So I've got good lines all the way around to the back. And then I uh, re-sanded and touched up the uh, the top cap here around the gunnel to uh, kind of fill in any of the imperfections. Got to sand it down and get ready for prime. So the goal for today is, is to uh, sand everything down and start priming. So between the day and tomorrow, I'd like to get all the priming done on the boat. So it'd be all white primer, uh, you know, for the flat gray paint. So, all right, well, we're going to get to it. Here we go. All right, well, I've got all the sanding done. I'm pretty much going to clean it up tonight and let it sit. And tomorrow I'm going to jump on it first thing in the morning and start priming it. I don't want to start at this late because it's going to start to get cold this afternoon into the evening time. So... Uh, I'll flip you around here so you can check it out, but I've got the outside sanded around. I've got the outside done. And then jumping into this inside here. So I've, I've got, I've hit everything with 220 all the way around. And I've, I've done the floor. I'm going to touch the floor one more time because I need to clean it up. Um, but I've got pretty much everything inside. Sand it down with 220. So fair it in. This is the uh, line around the edge. Fair it in pretty well. I went ahead and fared that bulkhead in so it's nice and smooth, you know, to match the finish of the uh, the gunnels. Looks pretty good. I was uh, I was pretty excited to put some primer on it this afternoon, but I think it'd just be rushing it to put primer on. So I'm gonna um, clean it up and get everything cleaned, and then, then have everything prepped for tomorrow first thing and uh, start laying primer down and it's a white primer so it'll look painted once i done so but i think it'll look really good because that way i'll be able to see you know how everything lays out and any imperfections or anything i can i can kind of um you know put another layer of primer on if i need to and start moving forward but thankfully thank the good lord it is definitely coming uh coming together pretty good so so i've already got all my uh hardware cut in ready to go so once i paint this i won't have to uh cut or a saw or drill anymore into the uh, into the uh, deck. So same thing for the hatches on the deck. Super smooth. Fared in really well. I wouldn't say yacht finish, but it's pretty dang close. So I, I'm, I'm, I can live with it. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. All right, I'm gonna keep at it. Dug it, uh, rinsed her out, and uh, just kind of get it ready for tomorrow. So I'll, I'll let it dry overnight. Uh, but I got a lot of that dust out. Would it, definitely a lot easier to do that than it is to try to wipe that stuff out and blow it out. So uh, it's real good and clean. I'll let it sit tonight, and then I'll come back in tomorrow and wipe it down, and then wipe it down with the de uh, service cleaner dewaxer, and then I'll start priming her. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. You have a blessed night.